first black female named Christina Caramel, by the way, who got screwed, remember, in the in the in her run in Michigan. She wins the GOP chair race. Look at that, guys. Oh, the fake news is panicking because a blackie, a blackie is a first uh, GOP chair. A first, a, a first uh, GOP and RNC chair. Oh, no, no, I'm talking about DNC. Uh, I mean, I believe they haven't had a block either. So look at that. Tonight, conservative rock star Christina Caramo, great speaker, by the way, made history when she became the first black female chair of the Michigan GOP. Trust me when I tell you this is just the beginning of first for Caramo, the most honest, sincere, and forthright person to ever occupy the role of Michigan GOP chair. That is awesome. I, I wish she actually won her last race, but this is a good set. This is a good consolation prize right here, right? That's a very... Uh, that's a very prominent seat, guys. Top of the top of the party in the state. The former GOP Michigan Secretary of State candidate Christina Caramo won her chair race with 58% of the vote to the former Michigan AG candidate Matt DiPerno. His 42%. The final vote was tallied after three rounds of voting that took place over 11 hours at the Michigan GOP State Convention, where thousands of delegates gathered together to choose the person they believe will do best, the best job for reinventing what many believe is a broken party that needs to be burned to the ground and rebuilt in the image of Ronald Reagan and DT, and not billionaire bully Betsy DeVos or former useless GOP chairs like Laura Cox or Country Club GOP chair Bobby Shulstack. Fake news media is already losing their minds. The moment the Michigan GOP chair race was officially called for Caramo, Metro Detroit's top fake news reporter Craig Mogger of the Detroit News immediately shared a screenshot of Caramo's plan to fight back against the Democrats' well-oiled V-fraud machine in Michigan. Oh, it's going to get spicy, guys. Yeah, that's, that's centered around in, in Detroit, guys. This is a reminder. This is Christina Caramo's vision plan for Michigan's GOP. <clears throat> yes, she will be amazing. No more sitting back and allowing our selections to be stolen. No more backroom deals with crooked rhinos and Dems. Christina Caramo will be a force to be reckoned with. And there's no one who will stand in her way, especially not fake news reporters at Craig D. Mogger. Wow. That is awesome. Yeah, Michigan's in a lot of trouble right now. If you don't know why Michigan is not as messed up as Illinois, uh, it's because uh, Michigan, even though they had four years of Whitmer, they still had a red house, a red state house and a red state Senate. Okay? Uh, this past midterm, they stole all of it. They, they screwed over Tudor Dixon. They stole the house. They stole the Senate. So they are entirely blue now. They're going to pass so much. Dude, they, they might be fast-tracked to be worse than Illinois pretty quickly, guys. Okay. So anyways, instead of congratulating the first black female on holding the prestigious position of Michigan GOP chair, Julie Hines of the Detroit, Detroit Free Press used his words like selection denier to describe Karamo. And with no evidence of her claim is suggesting Karamo, who is one of the most beloved candidates to ever run for office in the Michigan GOP party will alienate moder moderate voices. If Karamo was a dummy crap, the media would be crying racism over the media's treatment of her. Now. Ew, DiPerno. Inside Selections' Jacob Rabashkin mocked the 2022 GOP candidate Christina Caramo for losing the most crooked SOS in the United States. Yes, we're talking about Benson. Remember Jocelyn Benson? Yeah. Freaking awful, guys. What did he write? He writes, Christina Caramo, blah, 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 Secretary of State, refused to concede her 14-point loss last year. Is selected chairwoman of the Michigan GOP. Defeating da 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 da. Yeah, it's so stupid. They chill because I, I I wonder what, what 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 she's gonna be able to do. You know, the New York Times is also losing their minds that someone who dared to question the selection results of 2020 and again refused to accept the results of 2022 after absolutely nothing was done to fix the broken Michigan selections would dare to run for the role of Michigan GOP chair. She didn't just run; she won. Huh? She won, guys! The media will continue to lose their minds throughout the night as Karamo has repeatedly called them out for pushing fake news or refused to speak with reporters like Craig Mogger 
or Detroit News Editorial Edition Nolan Finley, who once told me he has no use for DT GOPers. The truth is GOP Republicans in Michigan no longer have any use for fake news reporters or cowardly GOP selected officials who are afraid to stand up to the left and are only looking for their next cocktail party or opportunity to advance themselves while ignoring the voices of their constituents. As Michigan's next GOP leader, Karama will be a breath of fresh air. She is a humble public servant who is sincere about fighting to restore a broken party that no longer trusts its leadership. If anyone can restore trust in the party, it's Karamo. Who knows? With an honest conservative leader at the helm of the Michigan GOP, everyday citizen, citizens of Michigan may even start donating to the Michigan GOP again. Yeah, maybe. Perhaps the party will no longer have to rely on millionaires and billionaires looking for favors to fund the party. With Karamo's charisma and passion for fixing the Michigan GOP, she will likely be the best thing that's happened to the GOP in decades. Congratulations, Christina Karamo. Well, look at that. Yeah, Christina, that's awesome. 100% fed up. What, what, what great writing that is. Patty McMurray. That, that, that read just flowed. You see, I bet you she's from California. Just, and that's not an insult either. I'm from California. I get you guys. Yeah? And I'm telling you, every time I see an article written by California, I'm like, rock! Free flow reading. It's, it's just, it flows. Yeah? Who's this Patty McMurray person? Is it California? Nope, that's Patty McMurray. Oh, this is just all the articles by her. Okay, well. Uh, anyway, six channels. I've got links in the description. Subscribe to the ones you want. Ring the bell for notifications. Same thing on this side. Six channels separated by subject matter. Thank you very much. Woohoo, Christina. Yeah, Christina won something. You know, she she got jacked for SOS, but she won something. So that's great. Uh, comments on this side. Uh, thank you, John, for the marker. Spase. Matt DePerno has contributed to continue to. Matt DePerno continues to. Is Matt DePerno ha half decent? Is he really? I don't know much about him. Um, He lost, wasn't he? Did he lose? I don't know. Has continued to stand strong. Is he okay? He's in okay. Good. Okay. Well, I, I take that back. I take back what I said about him. I guess he, if if he thinks he's okay, then great. Because I don't know anything about him. <laughs> uh, Matt Deperno, a, a decent second. Yeah, a good statement right there. Anyways, hopefully that's the case. Uh, frangible, frangible round, frangible round. What that means? Double with the salt. Cool. Sounds like caramel. Yeah. Oh, Christina Caramel. Ha. Huh. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. Yeah. Awesome. Anyways, back to Foxhole. Normal is not coming back, but guess who is? Uh, Jesus. Yeah. Jesus says. And he's going to be like, what the hell do you guys do to this country? Yeah. 